you know, I've been in the MR field for almost going on 30 years, from including graduate school. You know, and this is probably one of the biggest advances I've seen in my in my career. It's essentially completely changed um, the field in, in in a matter of less than a year. The entire MRI scan capability, or magnetic resonance imaging, is an incredibly powerful diagnostic tool, but it does have an inherent problem. Doctors have to balance potentially long scan times with image quality needed for an accurate diagnosis. Now, a deep learning MRI tech has solved this age-old industry challenge by cutting down scan times and improving image quality. Jason Polzin is on his way over as he's the expert on how all of this works. Jason, how are you? That was quite an experience. Uh, I've never had an MRI before, and you've just <laughs> looked at probably one of the most important parts of my body. Yeah, so I'm not going to give you a diagnosis here, but I will tell you that, you know, so this is your, what we call your lumbar spine on the right, right side. Um, so you have a, a very healthy spine. So, you know, for somebody, how old are you, Mikey? I'm 47 years old. Excellent. So, the, so these bigger blocks here, that, that's your vertebrae. These are essentially bony structures, and then these are discs, meaning they're, they're made out of cartilage, okay? Cartilage. And they act as cushions between the vertebrae. Wow. Um, and what happens as you get older is those discs start to dry out. They start to get, you know, and they start to become less cushiony, so they provide less cushion. What you can see is that, you, I mean, you have a very, these are very bright, meaning that they have a lot of moisture in them, they still have a lot of fluid, that's a really good thing, meaning you have a lot of cushion between your vertebrae. And just so that you know, behind me, we've got, behind me, we've got Anya again, and Anya's basically controlling all of the images. Thank um, you, Anya. Sure. So, tell me how Air Recon DL is revolutionizing what you are doing in MRI. All along the time, you always wanted to be able to go faster, right? MRI exams are a little bit long, uh, and the longer you have to lay in the magnet, the more likely the patient is to move around. And in this case, we've basically come up with a new way using a deep learning based reconstruction to be able to significantly reduce the overall scan times. This image on the right, this is uh, your spine, your lumbar spine that we talked about previously without air recon DL. And you can see the kind of grainy appearance. We call that, that that's called noise. You can see the grainy appearance in, in the in the vertebrae and in the in the uh, the discs. If you compare that to the image on the left, uh, this is with Air Recon DL. Yeah. I think you can appreciate the improvement in the in the overall quality. Yeah, hundred percent. These images are exactly the same. This is the same scan reconstructed without Air Recon DL and then reconstructed with Air Recon DL. In clinical practice, what we would do is we would use take advantage of the fact that the image quality is so much better here we would take advantage of that fact to go even faster. And to the point now where you can do, um, you can see 40, 50% plus reductions in the time that the patient is in the scanner, which means they're less likely to move, they're less likely to have feelings of claustrophobia, and at the same time, we're actually improving the image quality. So you're better able to see some of these smaller, more subtle structures. It's the first application in MRI that's been able to both remove noise from the, the data, from the raw data, as well as remove some of the truncation artifacts. And those two factors together allow us to reconstruct images that have better fidelity, better signal to noise, better image quality in a shorter, in a shorter amount of time. So it increases speed, it increases image quality. What does the future look like? Is it, is it just harnessing those two or are there broader applications? You can also train a neural network to rep recognize other things. It can recognize motion. So for example, if you had moved during your scan, uh, normally what they would have to do today, you would see the image quality would be degraded as a result of the motion. They would have to um, re-scan, collect that scan again and ask you not to move. Um, in the future, things like deep learning will be able to improve the image quality even in the presence of motion. Fascinating stuff. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you.